Well, greetings, everyone. Lee Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, July the 8th. And this is a very cool mod pack, the Diesel Production Pack by MTL Modding Team. This is for all platforms, and it is only 8.2 megabytes to download. And you get three placeables and two trailers, and you get to make diesel. And it's not a and and it is not an extremely complicated process. <clears throat> so uh, we will go through them one by one, and then we will explain the process and try to be as detailed uh, and short and to the point as possible. It, it there are a few things to go through. First of all, we'll start with the uh, the production, the main production plant, which we see here in front of us. <clears throat> we have the input area, which is a very large, generous open area with no height restrictions. You can use anything you like to pour in there. The out, uh, the output uh, pipe, which is gives you another, again, very generous wide area. Um, and if you're putting in a tank, most tanks aren't that tall, so I don't think you'll have a height restriction here. Uh, the the uh, trigger here just come in well you see that uh, it takes a hundred thousand of each product now before I go any further the description on the mod hub is extensive and detailed which is absolutely awesome uh, for instance uh, it details each item that's in this pack and the construction cost we will find it under productions and factories and I believe it is just right here. Diesel factory, $170,000. Got a nice diesel um, <clears throat> sign on the side of it. Now, the details with this, as we said, capacity for input is 100000 We'll go over those. Sunflower, canola, and soybean is what goes in. Maintenance uh, per day is $120 per day. <clears throat> two cycles per hour and $20 per hour is the cost per cycle. Right. So as we look at it, we're going to turn it on. Why not? Um, so sunflowers, canola, and soybean. The, the, the recipe is 500, 500. Uh, so 500 soybeans, 500 canola, or sorry, not soy, sunflower, canola, soybeans. Now you add those all up, it's only a 1,000 and 250 and you get 1500 back already that's an awesome deal and we can see we already have some diesel already being stored so we'll get that let that keep running there and uh, we will move on to the next item that is in this pack there is <clears throat> a court petrol station so it's a container which we will find under uh, buildings and containers and it is going to be there see and we know what it is because it says it's a diesel production pack mod $26,500 again you can place it anywhere no color options it's just it is what it is right it holds 250,000 liters total we can go up to it and we can see I have bought, bought some diesel because being a container you can buy diesel here if you want it so you can it's not you don't necessarily have to use it with the other um, the other mods um, the filling it is again uh, again the the description for this piece is the info farm petrol low or station Con construction cost as we've seen 26.5 Maintenance per day, $100. Capacity is 250,000 liters. And liters per second, that's fill, or, well, discharge. So we are filling something from it. 15 uh, liters per second. Now, that sounds like a lot, but it's not really a lot uh, in comparison, I suppose. Now... We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how fast it is. These are the two tankers that come with this mod. They're modified base game tankers. You'll find these under miscellaneous tools, miscellaneous, 
And here they are, the MK58 and the MKS32. Um, sorry, slots. Tank is four and five slots. <clears throat> the uh, diesel factory is 15 slots. The diesel fill station is three slots. So the slots are all very low, very, very manageable. Um, 8,000 liters and 32,000 liters. So and when we go into the MK, uh, S. Eight. Uh, you can choose it to carry either water or milk or diesel fuel. Let's see, water. Uh, it does have the indication as fertilizer and herbicide on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's. Uh, we're going to try that out. Uh, for colors, this one is. Uh, you choose a color. It's basically a matte color. On this one, pinks. It, it's it's. Any color, any of these colors you want, of course, obviously. And the rim color has chrome and silver, white. You're so some base colors at the top. And then your regular color palette that you see with everything else. So $27,000 and <clears throat> colors are 1000 each. Again, on the info... Uh, it it details literally every uh, everything I just showed you. That's it's detailed on the description. So very nice. Um, the only thing it, the only thing it's not in the in the description is slot count, and that's probably very difficult to do because you can't test these on console before they're released on console. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> now the larger tank, of course, a miscellaneous. Uh, has all the same color options except when you choose a color on the large tank it goes like a metallic or a chrome type look which is very cool and different if you go with pink kind of have a pink chrome or kind of almost looks like gold when you do that and the green so that's very cool except for the black yeah the black is black and that's kind of more of a gray. That's the default. So the default doesn't cost anything. If you go white, it's... Well, there you go. This is... Say white. That's kind of like a galvanized. Another different kind of a galvanized. A darker, maybe a stainless. That's kind of like a... And then we're going on down. Down to black again. Red. Uh, kind of, Oh, yeah. Very nice. And the color... The uh, rim colors, again, are like so... Right, seventy thousand dollars if you pick those options. All right, let's grab onto this tank. And come over here, and I will show you the filling speed from the container. All right, so there it is. That's Basically, um, as far as I can tell, it's kind of base game speed for um, loading fuel out of uh, one of these type of tanks. So nothing, nothing slower or faster. It is what it is, like so. Right. Um, so the last item in this pack is the diesel. And so it's described as... Uh, the uh, diesel sales and the diesel sales you look at productions and selling points and it, there disease the diesel production pack $100 for the diesel sale it is three slots on console you can place it uh, anywhere you own land so you can see here it's costing more because of the the, the um, terraforming it needs to do when you place it. Now, interesting information also on the website or on the Mod Hub. Uh, compass, uh, so this is interesting. I, I don't think I've seen this before. Capacity until price drop. So w I understand that is how much you can sell until how much you can sell at this how much diesel you can sell into this sell point before the price starts dropping 250,000 liters and then it gives recovery time full price recovery time is 48 hours huh. 
And then sale fa- sales factor, so 1.9. So I'm assuming, or I'm guessing, that means uh, over base price. So 1.9 times the price that you would regularly get for selling diesel. So I was, I was, I was wondering to myself, I said, self? Where would I find that? So if we look at diesel prices, here we go. Uh, we have the diesel factory, which you can sell directly. I'm, a, I'm supposing that's what that is. Diesel sell a sale, seven grand. We have a, a couple of sell everything spots, and those are only three. So yes, looking like hmm, just around double the price <clears throat> for diesel sales. So very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, and it closes. Right. Okay. Um, yes, if you're wondering how much the diesel costs out of here, it's a standard, pr- it's pretty much a standard price. Well, it is standard to anything else. 1375 per thousand liters, so it's not any cheaper. Although, <laughs> you could buy it here and sell it there if you want to make, if you just, you know, you want to buy, you transport, you know, put one at each other, the, you can you can play yeah you're buying fuel here and you're transporting it to a location and you're getting a better price somewhere else Mm, that's a possibility because prices are much you can buy it for far less than you can sell it now all right so if it's set for diesel it's just set for diesel the unloading speed on the... Tr- so basically, it's just a modded uh, tanker. It's nothing... If you mod it for diesel, it will only hold diesel. Let's see what happens if I go to the milk. I wonder if it needs a little bit of an adjustment on the description there because it said... Uh, water milk... So it doesn't, uh, it, it's not like some of the tankers where it'll just, you can just fill it with anything. You have to choose the diesel option for it to carry diesel, I'm thinking, because if I go in here. Oh, okay, so it's everything except diesel. Okay, there we go. See, I see now water, milk, for liquid fertilizer, herbicide, but not diesel. Right, so there you know. Now you know, now I know, now we know. <clears throat> All right, so I think we've covered, um, yes, that has covered everything. Of course, you can use other tankers that hold diesel, but this is what's come in the pack. All right, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to uh, cut away, and I'm going to go f- go ahead, and uh, as we're just taking a look here, uh, we have 265 uh, liters of fuel already. We're going to go, I'm going to sleep. We're going to go ahead to the to 8 o'clock on the next day, and we're going to see where we're at for diesel fuel. And then we'll test how fast the unload speed is. So we'll be right back. So we are back, and we have some good news. If we look here, our... Um, our capacities have not gone down all that much. I would say, well, even less than a quarter, maybe, well, about a quarter down. And we have produced 70,557 liters of diesel Woo! in one sleep. <laughs> um, so that is um, quite a lot of diesel fuel certainly much more than you would use in a day even if you were running several pieces of equipment <clears throat> now of course um you can use uh, that's why we have a storage container here what we're going to do is we're going to fill now the tanker at the out point and i'll show you with the uh, the input to in a minute so here we go start filling and oh dear that is mm, slow very slow um i would like to see a little faster um 
loading speed than this. Uh, this is going to take for 70,000 liters. That's going to take a while to fill this tank up. Mm. That's too bad. Hopefully, um, uh, I know they're listening. So perhaps uh, consider speeding up that unload speed uh, to something a little bit more tolerable, perhaps. Uh, that would be my suggestion. Some people would kind of, oh dear, they would be a little bit a little bit cheesed with the slow on load speed. Uh, so uh, this is the unloading or the loading area where you put your product in. And as I, as you can see, it has a very large, generous area for that. That's super nice. And um, yeah, so. If we stop that, that's that's going to take too long to fill that. <clears throat> now, of course, if you don't want to... Now, here's the catch. You can set it to selling, but you're not going to get... You're not going to get the, uh, the 1.9 times price at the selling station. So you're you're losing 50 percent of profit if you sell directly from there so here we go here as you can see we can we can fill the tank or we can uh load it back up so we can save some put it in the tank here <clears throat> for use for your vehicles and the excess you can take over to the diesel cell station and sell for a massive profit. So, out of 10, I'll give it a 9. 9.5? <laughs> I've never really rated mods before. Uh, you get a lot. The, the, so, lots of lots of pluses for this mod. <clears throat> and it's not just because I kind of like these guys. And I'll, I'll tell you why. The megabyte download is only 8. There's not a lot of extra decoration. It's very functional, very easy to use. Only three products that need to go in there to create. Uh, the recipe is very favorable. You get more than you put in. Uh, it has a very generous loading and unloading area. It comes with specialized tankers if you so wish to use them, which have a fair bit of modification too. Well, you can change colors and so forth. They're very easy to use and simple. It comes with uh, a tank that you can use, a sell point that gives you double the price of the normal price you would get at any of the other sale stations. The only one small minor issue is the uh, unloading speed is kind of painfully slow. Uh, to be honest. Um, so, overall, a very cool mod. So, I perhaps I don't know how hard it is to speed up the unload speed, but um, I know there are some factories that are much faster at the unload than others. Anyways, I won't harp on that. That's, this is Diesel Production Pack by the MTL modding team. Bravo, fellas. Another, another fine mod. <clears throat> Uh, I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.